Hey there, bros. Welcome to the patch 13.19 support tier list. And this is the patch that the people playing at Worlds uh, will be playing on. Uh, usually what happens in a Worlds patch is that not a lot happens, mainly because they want the pros to be able to play on something relatively stable. Um, so yeah, not a huge amount going into this one. There are two notable things, um, one with Pike and one with Randomans Omen for tank supports. Um, on the whole though, nothing really crazy going on, but we'll go through them uh, as always. So Azir's getting nerfed, Brer's getting buffed, I believe. Uh, Galio is getting a slight buff on his ultimate. Gangplank um, getting buffed maybe, I think. Uh, Jin is getting an alt and notice they changed 200 to 244 and 64. It's uh, so funny, you're putting forwards in. Um, what else have we got here? So Lissandra is one that I will briefly mention. If you have been watching Worlds, you'll see that like Lissandra support has been played at Worlds. Uh, Lissandra has mainly been used to counter kind of like Rakan going in with his W uh, because Lissandra's W, her root actually stops Rakan's like kind of leap from actually crashing down. Um, that is getting buffed, but like playing Lissandra support, I think is a big no-no anyway. Like the pros know what they're doing. I think if you're in super high yellow, you can utilize this. If you're in bronze, you do not have the reflexes for this. Just ignore it, okay? Uh, so Pike upgrade uh, health growth uh, went up by six. Uh, but the bigger one here is his W. His cooldown reduction on his W has been reduced um, from 12 to 10 to 12 to eight. Uh, and as you can imagine, like Pike also has generally a decent chunk of crowd control as well with some of the AD items that he picks up. So that's going to be going down to around about more like a six-ish, maybe five second cooldown. Um, you are going to be taking W last though when you are playing Pike, even after this change. So it's going to be maxing Q, maxing E, and then maxing W. So this is going to be pretty good, the W, in terms of when you're hitting max level or getting close to max level. So once you start hitting like level 15 and 17 and 18, you'll notice that the swash to dive cooldown is going to go down a lot lower. And in late game, Pike is definitely going to be way more annoying to kill um, and will make it quite annoying for other people to deal with. I mean, Pike's generally quite annoying to deal with anyway, but this is going to make him way more slippery. So actually a decent uh, buff, even though I don't rate high, Pike highly for the lower ELOs, like in like the bronzes and silvers, gain length just does generally uh, last a little bit longer. So the Pikes in those ELOs will be benefiting from this actually by a, a decent, I would say this is actually quite a solid buff. Honestly, it's quite, it's quite a good buff um, without giving Pike more damage. So yeah, it makes him way more annoying for sure. Going into the other stuff, we've got a Rek'Sai staff, a Necton. The Syndra is getting buffed on her Q. Uh, Twitch ulti is getting uh, more pewage on that, which is pretty cool. Um, and Zeri movement speed is getting nerfed. Now, Randwin's Omen is an interesting item. So basically what Riot are trying to do is they're trying to, they're reducing the gold cost by a significant amount. Uh, so 300 gold saved on this is pretty massive. Basically, they're saying, like, if the enemy team is taking crit, Randomin's Omen should be best in slot for you. So going with that theory, there aren't too many situations where there's, like, that much crit, honestly. There might be the enemy AD carry taking crit. But say that they have a trend mid top, and then you've got, like, you know, a crit user in the bot lane. Then start thinking about Randomin's Omen, because, like, tank item pool is so bad right now. Um, it's definitely one of the things that needed addressing because uh, you get like Knight's Foul, which is kind of meh, and then Zeke's is kind of meh, and then you got like uh, the only good tank items really are like the Locket and the Even Shroud from like the Mythics. So, Random is Omen being reduced is quite interesting. Um, so, if enemy team does have crit um, and you don't need like the Bramble Fest or whatever, then go into Randwins. Should be an okay option now, actually. So, I would like, honestly, I think they probably could have reduced it. Maybe reduce some of the armor stats slightly and reduce the gold cost down to like 2.5k, I think would be the better way around this. But I think this is a good start and we might see randomans uh, dropping in gold cost as well again in the near future. But so yeah, randomans omens actually viable. So do think about picking up when they have crit on the enemy team. 
Um, other stuff here is nothing because the, oh, are they changing? They're doing something to Soda Q, um behavior rating and and stuff like that. So, um, they, I think that this is the patch that they're actually bringing in. So, ranked Soda duos tend to be the Q with the highest rate of disruptive behavior. The added intensity of every uh, game mattering is fun, but sometimes the pressure proves to be too great. We want to give players who are feeling the pressure of ranked environment a way to reconnect with a more relaxed version of League of Legends, while at the same time introducing a penalty that is hard to work around by switching accounts for a week. Uh, so now when receiving penalties for disruptive behavior, you can receive rank restrictions in addition to your other penalties. These will keep you from playing ranked game modes until you clear them. So basically you're going to be banned from doing ranked. Um... So I don't know if that's going to make like the other queues more toxic or if there's going to be like some sort of like toxic queue where only toxic people sign up to, which would be, sounds pretty hilarious actually. I wish I could just watch some of those games. Um, but yeah, it sounds like to they're trying to reduce the toxicity, particularly in Soda Q, um, and punish people by not letting them sign up to Soda Q. So basically, so you won't be able to switch accounts. Right, so if you have to play like five games of normal in order to be able to jump into ranked, so um, yeah, I think this is like worth men mentioning in the Twitter so that you guys are aware of this. So, like, don't be toxic in your games, otherwise, you won't be able to climb. And end of season is just around the corner, and don't get cucked from your rewards because you told your AD carry to go, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be demonetized. Okay. I, I think also they're removing the bait ping. Yeah, that we'll have a work in progress with the bait ping. Um so they're removing the bait ping, but then they're just gonna like it's not I don't know. They're just bringing more attention to it. Like I don't think many people were using the bait ping for, you know, if you know, you know. But like I don't know. I, I get what they're trying to do, but it feels like this is like way too late. Like people were using the bait ping like from day one in terms of like you know what. So I don't like why now. Like what? Why address it now? Like, I don't know. Like it's like why not do it on day one? Why wait f five months or something? I don't know. Anyway, I don't think there's anything else actually actually in the notes to mention. We'll go straight to the tier list now. As you can imagine, not a lot has changed. Um, I have nudged a couple of champions up from tier four. Um. So tier four to tier three, we've got Bard and Pike. So yeah, Bard is very, very strong right now, particularly in Diamond Plus. As you go down in Lowy in ELO, Bard is just like too hard for people to use. No offense, if you're playing Bard and Bronze, he's just probably too much for you. Um, but yeah, the buffs that he did receive are just like super, super good anyway. So like he is like an S plus tier pick right now in high ELO. If you're like in uh entering in towards emerald i'd say like if you want to learn how to play bard at that point go for it i think that's like a good starting like you know position to start learning how to play bard but honestly if you're like in gold silver bronze don't bother i mean if you've been watching my tier list for a while now my tier lists are kind of catered towards unranked to like low emerald mid emerald so yeah that's why bard's like in tier three but like generally in like diamond plus master plus challenger he's like s plus right now he's really really good um, Pike also getting a minor nudge up. Um, I think he was like high end of tier four, but like, you know, he still wasn't great for like the recommended ELOs that I was recommending him for. So tier th he now pushes into tier three. Um, still wouldn't necessarily recommend playing him unless like you play a lot of games of him. If you one trick Pike, you're probably going to be like, okay. Um, playing Pike for like, you know, one game in every like 50, 60, 70, like, just don't bother really honestly play someone else um not a lot of change going into it as i said you know there wasn't that many changes going into the tier list so usual kind of subjects there in tier two um ap champions we're going to tier one here as well just to show everything like ap one ones are generally the best if you only care about like wanting to climb ap supports are still very good zyra still the standout pick if you want to play zyra she's super super good right now she's been really good now for a really long time really really long time so Zyra is the go-to pick for this patch um I think the other enchanters and stuff like there that, that are in the tier one and tier two are also very very good I would suggest though as someone who loves playing Nami and I know she's getting a skin soon so she might get buffed soon you never know um yeah Nami's just not good enough right now 
it's really sad for me to say I just don't I generally like don't recommend playing Nami because there are just better enchanters to play um so yeah if you are a Nami lover I would and you are like kind of struggling and climbing it's like it might not be you it might actually be the champion honestly so do look at you know some of those other enchanters like the Soraka the Janna the Sona um, in order to increase your win rate in solo queue when you push for those end of season rewards. Um, but yeah, like nothing really that I need to cover there. Like the sh the, the list hasn't changed that much. And if you watch my content enough, and you, you, I'm just going to be rambling. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. You know, just kind of like a brief confirmation that everything is kind of still the same. Um, I will be streaming League a lot more starting uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday for me, which is the 27th of September. Onwards, I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash Bilzelberry if you want to watch some solo queue content. We'll probably do some zooming around on Ball or something. I don't know. But if you want to come say hi, you're more than welcome to. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask and I'll be more than happy to help. So I'll be streaming like 9 o'clock UK time onwards tomorrow. So yeah, if we can make it, that will be awesome. But other than that, take care and look forward to seeing hopefully another video in the next day or two. Bye.